The design of this device is quite compact. I watched a lot of videos, many do make this electronic candle on their own. The circuit is elementary, but because of the high frequencies, it requires careful tuning, and you also need a high frequency powerful capacitor, which is hard to find in my city. In fact, here is the principle of a simple Tesla coil, but at a higher frequency. Search Google for HFSSTC. DIYers make a device with a frequency of 8 to 10 MHz, so the output coil is larger, contains about 150 turns. The Chinese device operates at a frequency of 15 MHz and the coil is more compact. So I decided not to compete, not to waste time and just bought it on AliExpress. The kit includes two output coils and several connecting wires for them. There is an option with a power supply. The diagram and disassembly of this Chinese candle was made by the author of the channel High Voltage Engineering by M. G. N. I. Azar. Well, let's make a standard connection. The steel tip is heated, so the flame turns red. In order to see the natural flame, I used a thermal drill from AliExpress. Other output coils for experimentation can be made by taking the length of the wire at the rate of a quarter wave. Divide the speed of light by the frequency and divide by 4. True, you need to change the length a little, because there is an interturn capacitance. I also tried other carbide tools. With a regular sewing needle it looks spectacular. Paper clips burn almost as effectively. When borax is added, the flame turns green. With different lamps it also turns out a good show. The lamp remains operational.
Molten glass turns the flame orange. The receiver coil is tuned to the same frequency, so currents arise in it, which transmits the transmitter coil. Let's try a vacuum chamber. 